Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Regrowth. Yeah, so I've been trying to crossbreed this freaking blue blackberry with uh, this uh, water artichoke for a while and finally I got some blueberry seeds and I need blueberry seeds so that I can get strawberry seeds but I need raspberry seeds which I don't have. I do have chili seeds so I can get tomato and I do have pumpkin seeds so I can get grape seeds so huh, at least I finally got that done but I still need um, these two crossbreed with melons so uh, let me grab some, some pumpkin grab a pumpkin seed here and uh, let me set that up here quickly Pumpkin. maybe it'll be done by the end of the episode I I doubt it. Actually, let me put put the blueberry seed here and the pumpkin seed here. Oh, that's right. I can't use uh, you can't use regular bone meal on magical crops. You have to use magical fertilizer, which is more expensive. So there we go. Uh, I got my uh, my blueberries going, and uh, it's already grew there. Come on now, come on. Got some cucumbers growing. Uh, you know my plants are all still going; they're all ready to harvest. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, let's see what we got in the. Uh, these are all my 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 seeds. Uh, all the mystical flowers. Now I think I have. There might be one left out there. Uh, pretty much all of the. Uh, witchery plants uh, except for one which uh, I have to go to the dream world to get I'm working on the rest of these uh, and sweet corns 10 10 10 and uh, you know I'm working on uh, working on blackberries oh no I'm not working I'm working on cucumber and chili at the moment I'll be working on blackberries at some point here in the near future I'm just gonna pop uh, the melons I don't really need Pumpkin I can use, probably. I don't have a lot of them. I'll grab one of those and the artichokes I might. Keep a couple of these. I don't have a, I have a decent stock of artichoke ones now. So, yeah, so uh, I'm getting sick of chopping down trees. So let's uh, come up with a better way for that. I thought I'd show you uh, sort of what the base looks like. Uh, I'm not sure. This looks okay. You know, got some uh, limestone, some granite, some andesites, and some diorite. Uh, I got a little bit of pattern here. I'll, I'll build in here. I'll do mostly um, some of my tech stuff is going to go in this area over here. But my base is probably going to have to get expanded at some point. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go up or out. I still haven't decided. <laughs> so, anyway, this episode I thought we would, uh, you know, start uh, basically progressing down some of the tech line because although we have a bunch of our ores and we can throw them in the uh, furnaces and smelt them up, there are ways to uh, basically double your output. Um, not probably really necessary in this pack because you can produce unlimited coal and unl unlimited ores, you know, you really probably don't need to double, you know, but eh, we like to do that kind of stuff anyway, just because that's the way it goes. Plus we want to get a smeltery because I, I want to make a, a lumber axe because I, I want to chop down trees in one fell swoop. And to make a lumber axe, I need a tool forge. And to get a tool forge, I need basically you know four blocks of iron and some seared bricks. And to get seared bricks, I need to make seared bricks. There is no grout in this pack. I'm going to need basically to make seared stone, which should be, I wonder if it shows me. So yeah, cobble in a smelter. You can also do it in a um, in a crucible, which is what we're going to look into making this time. So first things first, what I wanted to do is what the world is made of. I have the material for golden opportunity and uh, bauxite, and I want to turn that in. A manual, oh, I forgot to get the flower yellow. I forgot to grab the uh, yellow powder. 
Uh, let me grab that. And this. I think I forgot to grab the uh, powder for... Yeah, I need white powder. So I'll grab that. Oh, you need 32. Well, you need a lot. You need a lot of them. So definitely worth uh, growing up, I guess. Okay, so that's done. And so now I just need uh, 8 tin, 8 copper. Oh, and the limestone. I'll show you how you can get the limestone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that should be the tin, and that should be that one. Okay, so I get an essence of gold. I'm just going to leave over here for now. I don't know how many I'm going to need of these to make the gold seed, but that'll be nice to have. Put that there. Okay, and so to get limestone, you can mine up limestone in the world. But it's the wrong limestone, so if I click over to the quest and I try to turn it in, Oh, it let me. Okay, well, I didn't think it was going to let me. Um, so it'll let you turn in the limestone. If it hadn't let you turn in the limestone, which I didn't think it was going to do, uh, what you can do is you can take your chisel and you can uh, turn it into mariculture limestone. If, if it hadn't accepted it, which I didn't think it was going to, but it did, so lucky, lucky, lucky. And so now I have two of these uh, Essence of Illumina. And I don't want that. I want to make... Oh, I only need one, but I need Rune of Fire and Rune of Earth. So I need to get into the runes to, to basically make the Illumina seed, which well, we're getting there. Probably, maybe next episode we'll be able to do that. Okay, so we've done those turn-ins, and uh, we'll... we'll complete those turn in so that we can start making the aluminum and gold seeds uh, but what I want to do is get into what the world enables and uh, seeing that lava and water react try to develop a controlled environment for mixing substances you think that a vat made of copper is exactly what you need so I'm going to make a vat which is just like that and it gives me uh, some burnt bricks and some lava and then next what I need to do is to make a crucible furnace. And to make a crucible furnace, I need burnt bricks. So if I look, crucible, I could spell. <sighs> I need burnt bricks and uh, these silicon carbides, which require blocks of clay. Uh, and I need two of these uh, to make a crucible furnace. So I need two of these uh, to stack um, and it gave me two lava buckets which is nice and I need two tanks so actually, I want to make some more tanks so let me grab an extra one of those extra one of those and I think I'm good let's let's make four tanks to start with and it's the mariculture tanks we'll make four of those to start with oh and I got four lava buckets so that's nice and I need to make, uh, let's go back to the crucible. Okay, so you need burnt bricks. To make burnt bricks, you have to put a brick or another brick in a vat containing lava. And so I cooked up, just for this occasion, some bricks. I hope this is enough. I'm gonna put this over here somewhere that there for right now and I'm just gonna use th these buckets of lava because I have lava right outside so it's not a big deal and I'm actually gonna go collect some okay and so I have four burnt bricks to start with what I want to do is I'm just gonna put as many eventually I'm gonna want all of those to go to burnt bricks I think so I'm just going to chuck all those in there and uh, it's going to consume the lava as you can see there's 3500 millibuckets in there so we're going to need to get some more uh, get some more lava is it almost day or is it almost night let's, 
Let's sleep till day so we can go out and get some lava. And that's why I wanted a couple of the extra of these tanks. Which I want two. I need to uh, have a better way to get out of my base. Um, okay, so I just want to come down here, pop that down there. I made a iron bucket just for this occasion so that I can start collecting the lava. Let's put a tank of lava there. And if you uh, right click, I think I took all of the, uh, so I had four burnt bricks and I right clicked with my, uh, with my open hand and it pulled out the burnt bricks. And so it gave me uh, eight burnt bricks. So it looks like, uh, I guess that makes sense, right? Four seconds, it doesn't really have yeah, 250 millibuckets per brick. So we're just gonna let that go. And now we gotta start thinking about how we're gonna make these, uh, I need clay. And so I need uh, 12 heating elements. So I need 12 times four blocks of clay. Ugh, that is terrible. I need 48 blocks of clay per crucible. So I need a lot of clay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up these burnt bricks. I'm going to make some clay with uh, clayconia. And I will be back once I have all the materials to sort of progress forward and make the rest of the crucible. Yeah, because I need... Uh, 12 clay blocks per okay so I'll be back okay I think I got everything uh, I wanted to show you one thing uh, just in case you needed to know uh, to make regular sand oh, I don't even need to do that uh, what you can do is you can take crack sand and a water bucket and a crafting table and you can make uh, regular sand so uh, that's how I made my regular sand for my turn in. You used to be able to just pop them in the oysters and they would automatically turn to regular sand, but uh, that doesn't happen anymore. So the easiest way I can think of early on to make regular sand is just put a water bucket and some crack sand in there. Okay, so now I think I have enough to make. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I should have enough. And I need to make some iron bars. Uh, but I should be able to make four of those, which is good. And I need to make two of those, which is good. I'll have some iron bars left over. And I don't have a lava bucket, but they don't stack anyway. So let me grab a bucket of lava, put that in there. fluid tank and burnt bricks and that let me just uh, stack these because I can give me my crucible furnace come back over grab another bucket of lava and I'll make a second one and that gets me my crucible furnace which is good and so now it wants me to make an ingot caster a block caster and a ladle I wonder if I have enough burnt bricks for this. Let's see. Still have 24. Okay, let's look at block caster. Okay. Got enough for that. The ladle. Ladle. Oh. Copper. I didn't bring any copper. Ladle and then the ingot caster. Oh, cool. That's going to be pretty simple. So like that and like that. And that gets me an ingot caster. 
Okay. <sighs> All right, so that's going to get me some more burnt bricks and some more. Oh, wait. Uh. Ah, not enough inventory. Yeah. Just put some sand away and stuff. Hey, <laughs> free up my inventory. Ugh. Okay. And that means uh wants me to make seared bricks. Okay. And so to make seared bricks set up the crucible okay so crucible will set up like that so now it's a multi-block structure and you put your items in the top you can put a solid fuel in the bottom here and then your stuff will melt down and put you know what let me break this for a second okay let me not break that let me move you well Let's use up the rest of you. So it's starting to heat up. If you put a tank with lava underneath, it will start to heat up. And I think put an ink caster there. And I'm just gonna need I'm gonna want to get up there somehow. I'm just gonna grab a block. Okay, so it's starting to heat up. It's at 43 degrees. Okay, but you can also add uh, solid fuel. And it will also heat up. And what we need to do is we need to... I'm just going to throw these lava. It doesn't really matter. I'll throw the lava buckets in there. And so what I need is I need... cobblestone. Not sure how much I'm going to need. I need eight for the quest, but I'm going to need a bunch if I want to build a smeltery, so I'm going to cook up just a bunch of cobble. And once it gets to uh, temperature, it will be able to let's see, smelting, crucible furnace, 218 degrees. Oh, that's all it needs. It's not too much. So it'll get up there relatively soon. Now be careful with the crucible furnace as there is a bit of a bug. Um, I don't know if that's been fixed in the most recent patches. Sometimes uh, the block just sort of bugs out and he, it, basically that you lose part of the crucible furnace and everything inside of it. It's sort of a pain in the butt. But yeah, so we've got that now. Um, the other thing that you can do with this is you can melt your, uh, you know, all of your ores in there and it will give you a I guess it's a 1.5 yeah I think what it does is it it'll give you a 1.5 uh, increase so you get one and a half times the amount that you would get smelting it in the furnace uh, you know what we can do let's do this do I have a chest in there I'll put in there um, I got chests somewhere, I just don't know where they are. Let's do this quickly. We'll make a chest. Some iron. Hope this works. Let's do that. Down the chest, down the hopper. The block will work unless given a single. We will auto eject fluids. Okay. All right, so we're starting to actually cook down some seared stone 
and I think I have it set to auto eject fluid. It'll work unless given a signal, so it'll just keep going. Hopefully this works. And there are upgrades that you can put in the crucible furnace. Uh, let's see, upgrade. Um, yeah, these mariculture upgrades. Uh, heating upgrade, cooling upgrade, purity upgrade, impurity upgrade, storage upgrades. So uh, all of these mariculture uh, upgrades can be used. Ultimate heating upgrade. So we may we may look at uh, upgrading our crucible furnace. And oh, see, you can see there's seared stone in. Okay, so we'll start working on this, to hell and back. One of my vague memories of before is that the existence of other dimensions, the only one you can recall currently, is the crucible of fire you've taken to thinking of as the nether. The first step in dimensional travel has to be developing a portal. The first step in that regard has to be the building of a portal frame. Obsidian seems to be thematic enough since it's formed of solidified lava. So what we can do here is I have another lava tank here. You can, how much, it is empty, okay? So I'm gonna put in one, two, three, one, two, three. And so if you leave uh, lava and water in the vat, eventually it will produce obsidian. And to make a uh, nether portal, I will need two, four, I think it's 10, right? I need 10, 10 obsidian. Is that what it tells me? Yeah, 10 obsidian. <laughs> oh, and I'll get nether wart. That'll be handy. Grab one of these there. That. That. So, grab another water, another lava. So, I'm gonna have to use up 10, 10 uh, buckets of lava to make this happen. And we're getting there. It's almost there. Four sixty. <laughs> One, two, two. Yeah, max capacity six six millibuckets. So, let's see, yeah, 526, so oh, we're close. One, two, how much am I down to? That should be it, right? After this is done, that should be all of my, uh, that should be all of my obsidian. Oh, I'm gonna need, since I'm probably gonna set up the uh, nether portal, going to need <laughs> I will need flint and steel you don't necessarily need flint and steel it's just the easiest way to light your nether portal and that should be 10 light it up I made the flint and steel Highway to hell, to the nether. Okay, so I need to go to the nether to complete the quest. And 497. Aha! So, we got some... We got some bricks in there. So we are in uh, good shape. They form up. And uh, they're coming into there. So once, once it works its way through the cobble, we should have, I think, a stack of seared bricks, if I did my calculations correctly. Let me, we're going to the nether, that could be dangerous. So let's do, 
Okay, let me clear up my inventory and I will be right back. Okay, so before heading to the nether, I thought we would make some new tools to uh, help us. So what I'm going to do is... is this not right? Okay, I'm doing something wrong. Let me see. Ah, I need living wood. Okay, living twigs. Forgot about that. Okay, so I'll make some mana steel armor. It's uh, basically, uh, it's like uh, iron armor, but a little bit better. And if you have a mana tablet, rather than taking damage, uh, the damage will, the mana will basically protect the armor. So it'll basically damage the mana value of the tablet and 10% less cost on mana tools. And so that means using mana tools will cost less. And so we're gonna make some of those. I just have to make some living twigs. I wonder if I have enough wood for that. We'll find out. Uh, I need to make pants and the chest, the helm and the boots. And so now I can deck myself out in mana steel armor. Pretty sexy, yeah. Ooh. Okay, and I need to make some living twigs. Okay, so I want to definitely make a pick. Yeah, I made a pick. <laughs> uh, and the mining level is bronze. I want, do I want a shovel? Let's, uh, let's see what. Vitreous pickaxe. Shovel, axe. I don't want the axe right now. Shears, yeah. Sword would be nice too. Let's make a shovel. Oh, I need I need one more twig because I want to make. Okay, I'm gonna make a sword for now, and I want to make a shovel. Okay, that's all I'm gonna make for now. I'll probably make um, some other stuff with man of steel, um, but yeah, the the bonus of the man of steel is that it will use up the mana from the mana tablet rather than uh, taking damage. And so I really just wanted, uh, and this is my mana bar down here, you can see how much mana I have. And I actually made another mana tablet and filled it up so that uh, you know I can use up some of that because I was uh, you know starting to fill up my mana pool there. As you can see, I'm over halfway again. And one of these mana tablets is basically half a mana pool full of mana. So I don't need my wand with me. So I need to make a uh, nether portal. I'm going to go make it down where I mine stuff. I got armor, torches, food, and a pick. We are we're ready to go, I think. Now I gotta be careful and I have to place things where I want them. This is probably a good spot for it right here. As you can see, I'm using mana and it's not taking damage. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's two, two, three, six.
Oops. That should be correct. Because I won't be able to mine up the obsidian because I don't have a mining level good enough for that yet. But we should be able to light the portal. I'm terrified. <sighs> All right, here we go. Pray for a good nether. I brought some crack sand with me. I I don't know how good it is at avoiding or stopping. Uh, Oh god, I hear gas already. Let's uh, try and build some protection for the portal. Okay, so at least at this point we're pretty safe. I'm gonna pick up some of this soul sand around me. I'm gonna definitely grab the heat sand because I want to stand on it. And yeah, that's terrifying. So at this point we have technically been to the nether, so I think that completes the quest. I am just going to throw up some torches in here, We've sort of encased our... our, uh, our little uh, portal. Let's go this way. Did I hit a nether ore? can mine the copper, but... But it angers Pigmen. Let me go to my quest here. Uh, I will take the soul sand. Oh, and I wanted copper ore anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. And now it wants me to get iron and coal. Hmm. Oh, I can get amber. Yeah, see the, the pigmen are not happy with me. Rutile, I need thomium so I can't get that. Ooh. Okay. As always, there's lava everywhere. Uh, so with uh doesn't look like there's any explosions on in this pack. Um because normally what would happen is uh, if you, say, hit nether quartz and it blow... Oh, an infernal hive. Nice. Uh, nether quartz will blow up on you. So, uh, be careful. <laughs> uh, I guess I can grab some more nether copper, maybe. Uh, if you don't want to make the pigmen angry at you, by stealing their ores. Um, I don't think they get angry at you if you uh, have Silk Touch on your pick. Um, so if you can enchant your uh, Mana Steel pick, or if you make a Tinker's Construct pick with uh, Silk Touch on it, I don't think that they would get angry at you. So I'm just gonna pick up some Netherrack here. 
Oh, that's not good. So, as you can see, the, the pigmen are angry with me, so let's not go that way. <laughs> So, yeah. Really, I don't need to be here. Yeah, see, it's gonna blow up. Normally, it would blow a huge hole, but uh, I guess not in this pack. They're very mad at me. And as you can see, I am losing a little bit of mana for using these tools. So, yeah, there's not really any reason for me to be here exploring too much, especially with the angry pigmen. So I think I'm going to head back. Um, but uh, yeah, we've, we're starting to really progress through uh, some of the tech tree now. Let's get head back home. Hope I don't crash. And I can always go back there and, uh, you know, grab uh, another rack and soul sand as needed. But uh, let's see how our seared stone's doing. Shh, well, we weren't here, so is it? Yeah, so we got 60. I threw in some more. Uh, cobblestone so we'll, we'll, I'll end up more with more than 64 seer bricks I'll probably throw some more cobblestone in and uh, yeah keep chugging forward so yeah we uh, we actually got some thievery done went to hell and back and uh, yeah now we're looking at uh, making a seared brick which I think will lead us to making the uh, Tinker's Construct Smeltery and uh, Smith of the Year. But we have enough of these bricks. Oh, before I go, let's do this. Twelve. How much iron do I have? How much iron do I have? Put one there and put one over here. Uh, give me... Give me one second, I'll be right back. I want to make one thing before we go. Okay, I just was a little short, so I had to cook up a little bit more iron, but I wanted uh, four iron blocks. Let's make another block there. And I want to make the tool forge. Okay, so I need to make these into... What? Uh, okay, because this doesn't stack. Tool station. Like so. And now I have a tool forge. And that means I can now... I want to make a lumber axe, which is up here. So I need axe, big, big. I need some pattern. I need sticks to wood. Blank patterns. Go over here. And I want to make the. I need a plate. And the axe head. And this. And the tough tool rod. Okay. And I want to make the axe head out of netherrack. Sometimes uh, the part builder will not show the item. Like sometimes it's a little bugged. Um, just take the items out and put them back in, and you'll you'll be able to see it see it again. And okay, so I've got the uh, axe head, the 
plate. Uh, do I make the plate out of obsidian? Bone stone, paper slime. Uh, I think I can upgrade it as I go anyway. I have a I have a bunch of nether rack right here, so I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make it out of uh, nether rack. And uh, let's make the whole thing out of nether rack. What the heck? I just have the nether rack, so what the heck? Go to the lumber axe and we will call it uh, uh, what do we want to call it and yeah, we'll call it duck bill And now, whew, just come over here, chop the bottom of the tree, and boom. Ah, so much easier. Now, it doesn't cause the leaves to decay any faster, so that's kind of annoying, but... At least I didn't have to climb up that tree. <laughs> that's that's about all I can say. So, yeah. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we're, uh, we started in some mariculture, making the crucible, the vat, um, and we're uh, setting ourselves up to build the Tinker's Construct Smeltery, which will allow us to double our ores. Anyway, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. If you have, please don't forget to leave a like, and... Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you like, don't like, what you'd like to see more of in the future. So until next time, Delgar out.